What I'm trying to do with the Texas Sake Company, which is hard in Texas, right? I mean, who makes sake in Texas? But the reason we make sake is because we grow rice here. It grows very well, and it grows locally. We've been growing it for 100 years. You have to have a special type of rice to make sake. You can't just make it out of any type of rice. It has to be a special Japanese rice. The Japanese came to Texas in 1904, and they were so enamored with the Texas rice industry, they established two colonies with the intention of growing Japanese rice to ship back to the Japanese Empire at the time. And it grew so well, it still grows here today. When I started playing with that rice, the Texas rice that's grown very close to where we are, and also the water that we use here, just created a really nice balance and harmony. I'm the sixth sake maker in the United States. The other five, most of their focus is on the low, cheap grade sake. A huge part of this was supporting the local farmers. It's all organic. We're the first and only organic sake maker in the United States. I believe we should be drinking natural products that are actually made from agriculture, grown in a sustainable way. For me, it's always been a pursuit to try and challenge the notion that Texas is a beer drinking nation because we don't grow an ounce of hops or barley here. We grow tons of rice. The whooping crane is our mascot. It's sort of like Texas, is a little taller than the Japanese crane and also uh, bigger and, and louder. Not, not as modest, but we thought appropriate uh, as a consequence because we let our rice speak for itself. Our rice is also bigger and louder and goes well with our big and loud food.